What is the most horrific thing that someone has told you super casually? I was driving my brother's friend somewhere and he decided to tell me that when he was in grade school, he came home one day to find that his dad had committed suicide by shooting himself in the head with a shotgun. The friend didn't know what to do, so he just climbed onto his dad's lap and sat there looking at him until his grandma showed up four hours later. I'd only met him once before and he told me this story unprompted. I didn't know how to respond other than to say how sorry I was. I was on a date with this girl and we drove by a fast food joint and a shared parking lot. She deadpan said, my mom used to park here and shoot heroin with her BF while me and my brother sat in the back seat. Me, oh, wow. I was a heroin baby, my mom was using while she was pregnant. A couple of years ago I was on one of those music festival cruises. I was sitting down waiting on my friends to finish their drinks and whatnot when this lady sits down next to me. Somehow we get to talking about dogs. I tell her about mine, she tells me that hers is a comfort dog. I didn't ask her to elaborate because it wasn't any of my business, but she tells me it's because she didn't leave her house for five years. Again, I didn't ask why. She went on to tell me, a perfect stranger who'd been talking to her for all of five minutes, that her ex-boyfriend was stalking her and broke into her house so she had to shoot him and kill him. I called my cousin and at the beginning of the conversation I asked what she was doing, she said, oh just standing at the counter looking at my hand. I thought it was a little weird but my cousin is a little weird so I forgot about it, anyway half an hour later she goes the blood has now stained my shirt I think I should hang up and go to the ER. I was like what? She replied, oh I stabbed myself with the meat cleaver 10 minutes before you called and the knife is still in my hand, I'm fine but my shirt is now ruined. Dude whipped out a picture from his suit. It was of a naked woman spread eagle on a bear rug. He said girls will do all sorts of things for a quick buck and if interested, we could go in for a photo shoot. Never met him before or since. He looked like he was showing me his favorite pet. When I was 20 something back in the 90s I was sitting on the front steps of my condo waiting for my sister's husband to pick me up. Nice old fellow, a tenant of my building, sat down next to me. His first sentence he'd ever spoken to me was did you hear that they're taking my testicles off on Thursday? I responded that I had not. He continued yep, yeah, don't use them much anymore after the missus died. Mercifully at that moment my brother-in-law drove up. When I was in college, there was this guy who would hang around me sometimes that seemed just a little bit off. But he was nice and we both had similar interests so we hung out. One day, after I hadn't seen him for weeks. He tells me it's because the police were interviewing him. He tells me this story. Him and his two friends were in the woods, shooting a .22 pistol. Friend 3 tries to fire and it doesn't go off. Friend 3 looks into the barrel to check the gun. The gun then goes off, firing the round in there, and then the next round. Shooting him twice in the face. You read that correctly. Three guys went into the woods with a .22 pistol, two walked out, and the third was shot twice in the face and died. Anyone who knows anything about guns knows this is basically impossible. But since Guy and Friend 2 both had the same story, and the cops had no way to prove otherwise, no charges were filed. I stopped hanging out with that guy. Forever. I was on a date with a girl and everything was going okay. Not amazing but definitely still in the range of a second date. At some point, the conversation wasn't even sexual. She said that one of her favorite memories was regularly letting an older guy tie her up in the back seat and drive around sharing her with random people off the street when she was 15. It was at that point I decided there would not be a second date. A guy I worked with said that in the late 80s he lived with five other guys in an apartment in New York. Sometime after the HIV test is developed all of the roommates agree to get tested. Apparently the results were mailed to them. Basically. One guy got the mail and opened everyone's test. In so doing he finds out one of the roommates has HIV. He shows the test results to every roommate except the guy who is HIV positive. Then they destroy the test results. They all pack their stuff and abandon apartment and the HIV positive guy. None of them ever spoke to the HIV positive roommate again. They never told him his test results. The guy I worked with laughed so hard telling me this story. It's messed up. The guy I worked with had no remorse or a second of compassion even 30 years later and knowing the HIV positive roommate probably died.
who knows how many people the HIV-positive guy may have unknowingly transmitted HIV to before he had serious symptoms. That her dad was a sheriff, snatched her on the regular, and she had many miscarriages because of it. I think it was our third day working together, we had a shift alone and she was a talker. Usually she spouted nonsense but she busted the above out like she was telling me how her dad taught her to ride a bike. I was speechless and kept my head down in my work while she started on another topic. I later learned she was a pathological liar but I had never really heard assault mentioned casually and it threw me off. Offered to kill someone for me and admitted to a previous murder. I was ranting to my grandfather how much I hated the abusive scumbag guy my mom was dating, and my grandfather, completely sincerely, offered to shoot him for me. He casually told me about how he'd shot and killed my grandmother's first husband in the 60s and gotten away with it, and how even if he did get caught at his age he didn't give a duck about prison. My grandmother's first husband's death was insanely suspicious and I have no doubt in my mind he was telling the truth. It's been commonly held family legend for years that he was murdered. Needless to say, I did not take him up on this offer. My boyfriend and I were hanging out with an old friend of my boyfriend's and discussing how a girl we sort of knew was snatched by this guy we sort of knew who she was friends with. My boyfriend and I were talking about how horrified and disgusted we were and his friend goes, I mean, he just had sex with her while she wasn't conscious. That's not really assault. I do that to my girlfriend all of the time. We immediately told him to leave and cut off that friendship. When I was in 7th grade, there was a rumor going around that a student had been sexually assaulted during a football game. She got called to the principal's office in math class, it was a collaborative class, so 4 to 5 people at each desk. I was like, I hope she's okay, and the girl across from me said, and I quote, I don't know why everyone's making such a big deal about this. You can't assault black girls. Can't forget that one. At a previous restaurant job. I was the only person on shift one day that hadn't been sexually assaulted. Most of the women I worked with were fairly young, early 20s. We were just doing prep work and somehow the conversation came around to sexual assault and every single one of them told their story. I've never felt so sheltered in my life. I was sitting in a pub with an acquaintance so friend of a friend sort of thing. He was always a bit quiet. I think the rest of the group were either at the bar or toilet, not sure. Out of the blue he says I killed someone last month. He was a pedophile, had been abusing my younger cousin for years. So my elder cousins and me shot him, buried him in a shallow grave. I asked why he was telling me this and he looked me in the eye and said I'm not sure if we did the right thing but I had to tell someone. And it was never mentioned again. When I was 14, some people had recently moved in across the street from us, so my friend and I ended up going over because we were bored. These kids were about 10. My friend and I had a sleepover there the night, and they had been looking up PRN late at night. A bit too old for them. My friend and I tell them not to look at stuff like that, then the oldest girl says it's okay, my stepdad shows us stuff worse than that. Noped the duck out of there. Smoking in a Vegas casino I was approached by a guy around my age asking to have a cigarette so I hand one to him and my BF walks up with our drinks. The guy seemed nice chatting for a minute, then says me and some friends are going to do mushrooms all weekend, wanna join? We have a guest room, and extra poop bags. We were confused and didn't say anything, he continues we eat the mushrooms then poop in the bags so we can get high off them again, don't worry we bake it into cookies so you don't taste it. We politely declined trying to walk away casually and he said if we changed our minds he would be at the poker table for the next few hours. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.